All right, guys, uh, <clears throat> this video is about erectile dysfunction, how to cure it, and Cialis, Viagra, and Levitra, what these drugs do. And I'm gonna get into a lot of boner information in this video. I've written a lot of notes down here in my iPad. So if I look down, I'm just trying to make sure I cover everything. Let's start with what is ED, erectile dysfunction. Now, the proper definition, when you look at the literature, when you look at the official documents that the psychiatrists have made or the urologists have made, it's essentially you lose an erection before you penetrate or right when you penetrate, you lose an erection. So you're basically unable to conceive a child and it's sort of makes you impotent because if you can't get an erection to go inside her and, and get a child, then you're impotent. You're, in, you're basically infertile. Okay. That's what it is. Now, the other thing, that I've, not just in the scientific literature, but through coaching that I know, really, really know from clients is that a lot of relationships fail because of erectile dysfunction. Because the girl thinks, and this is not just like a girlfriend, boyfriend, or a marriage, this is also one night stands or fuck buddies or whatever you wanna call it. If you don't have proper sex with a girl, she may think that she's unattractive or that you're unattracted to her. So she loses all interest because I mean, let's face it, all humans just literally care about themselves. We're very selfish. So instead of thinking, oh, maybe there's an issue with this guy. No, she's gonna think that, oh fuck, I'm the problem. He's not attracted to me because I'm ugly. That's something to keep in mind. It kind of crushes the ho hopes and dreams of the girl, right? That's why I got into this field because I used to have these experiences, you know, four or five years ago where girls would, I would bring these hot girls home in Vegas, like super hotties, and I was just not comfortable or I would not get a boner or I had ED um, or I premature ejaculated. So it's kind of like ED, it's, it's a type of dysfunction. So this is why I literally got into this field. So it's really close to my heart. Now, a lot of older men have it, but a lot of young men have it too. Now, what are the reasons? One is obviously low testosterone, watching porn, and I'm gonna get into each of these in this video very soon, low dopamine receptor count. Now, what happens is if you watch porn, there's this super normal stimulus. I'm gonna cover a little bit here because there's an entire many, many videos about porn that I've already made, so go watch, watch that. If you watch a super normal stimulus, it is above the threshold of what your brain's dopamine system can handle, then your dopamine receptors get saturated and they kind of run out. And so even though there's more dopamine flowing, there's more juice flowing, there's nothing to activate that postsynaptic neuron, that neuron after the synapse. So your reward systems kind of don't work. So you need to watch more porn and then you get more ED and then it's just a horrible, horrible cycle. So this is the, the most crucial stuff about ED that I just covered. Now, let's get into how boosting testosterone helps with ED. The first thing is, let's differentiate testosterone and dopamine here, okay? Testosterone is most important for libido. It is most important to have the drive to actually wanna have sex, to actually go pound that pussy in her, <laughs> or, or that pound that pussy of her, of her pussy. Uh, I just like to say pound pussy a lot. So that is a testosterone dependent process, libido, drive, appetite, that animal instinct is very, very testosterone related. And that links to the sex erections, the, the erections you have in the morning. If you like to have morning sex, I know I do, testosterone is a huge factor because you will literally wake up with this amazing morning wood every day ready to fuck. That's testosterone. Now, if you just look at normal sex erections, yes, testosterone plays a role, but it's minor. The major neurotransmitter, the major chemical for sex erections is dopamine. That is why when you watch porn, when you are addicted to social media or you have all these unnecessary stimulations in your life that make you a loser, your erections will suffer because your dopamine is being used in all these unnecessary garbage activities that you have no more left for the physical manly animal activity, which is sex, okay? Now, uh, let's go into testosterone. If you have low T, you will suffer from problems in bed. 
Now, one way to properly trigger that blood flow and cure that ED, I've already made an entire video about this. It's about schizandra berry. It's one of the ingredients inside Afro D. It activates the specific pathway that is needed to get an erection, to have your smooth muscle cells relaxed, to get the nitric oxide release, all of that information I covered in the schizandra uh, berry video, so go watch that if you'd like. Now, what do these other drugs, Cialis, Levitra, Viagra, actually do to your body? So, these are known as PDE5 inhibitors, okay? When you get, and again, I covered this entire erection process in the Schizandra Berry video, so you can go watch that. I've covered it in many, many other videos too, but let me cover it a little bit here. When an erection happens, you have this accumulation of cyclic GMP, C-GMP, okay? It's it, what maintains the erection, it's what gives you the erection after nitric oxide release. Now, so you're smooth, so let's cover the process. Your smooth muscle cells relax in your penis blood vessels. You have a release of nitric oxide, and of course there's an accumulation of cyclic GMP. Now PDE5, phosphodiesterase 5, is an enzyme. It breaks down metabolically cyclic GMP. So the thing that keeps the erection on, PDE5 breaks down. And Cialis, Levitra, and Viagra in these drugs, they basically inhibit the PDE5. So your cyclic GMP doesn't break down. It stays in your blood vessels and your erection is maintained. That's why these things work. Now, let's get into why like, it's not enough or why you shouldn't even think about these drugs. First of all, they're to maintain erections, not to activate erection. They're not going to initiate your erection. So if you're having problems with libido and drive, which is a lot of people, especially young people now, you need to increase your testosterone to get that libido going. And then you can worry about maintaining the erection. Your first problem is getting a hard fucking on that boner. Okay? So Cialis, Levitra, they won't do anything to cause the erection. It's only to maintain. Now, what is the problem? These drugs take a toll on your internal organs. They need to be processed by your kidneys, your liver. They, there is a toll in your filtering process inside your body, in all your organs, when you take these drugs. And obviously, you know, these drugs aren't hundreds of years old. They're just a couple of decades old. So we don't really have all the research, and the research that exists is funded by these pharmaceutical companies, so we might not even know all the side effects so far. The second thing I want to tell you is that only 70, 60, 70 percent of the cases actually work. Like the, the men who take Viagra, Cialis, Levitra, 30 to 40 percent, it doesn't even work for them. It doesn't even work to maintain the erection. Okay? So that's also something. One, uh, some papers I've read is this thing called Viagra uh, hearing loss. It's called Viagra deafness. Some people who take it, you know, have some problems with their hearing. So that's another side effect uh, that I know about. Um, headaches, nausea, redness, and nasal congestion. These aren't a big deal, but over the last 20 years, these are the major side effects that have been reported in the literature. Now let's get into um, the psychological issues. When you're dependent on a drug that's not natural, that doesn't come from nature, there's a real beta male feeling here. I mean, think about it. You're dependent on a pill. I mean, imagine you pull a girl at a club or a Burning Man or wherever. I went to the Ukrainian Burning Man a few days ago, so I know how that is. And, you know, she grabs your banana and let's go have some sex. You really want to pop a pill and tell her to wait 20 minutes or however long it takes? I've never done any of these pills personally, so I don't know. Um, I was just too scared to do them because I read so much about the side effects. I don't think you want to do that. So uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's a big toll on your body. Like, would you actually feel proud telling someone that you take Viagra? Like the Afro-D Academy guys feel super proud telling people they take Afro-D. I mean, I, I take it all the time in public and people ask me and I tell them. Um, but how many guys would be proud to tell people they're on Viagra? 
I mean, it's just a beta male feeling. You don't want to do anything that you're ashamed to tell the world. So, um, okay, now what to avoid? I told you about porn being a major, major boner killer. Alcohol, you know, whiskey dick, you've heard of it, and maybe you've experienced it, I know I have. Um, yeah, and gambling, movie, social media, don't do anything that takes a toll on your body in terms of external stimulation that's not natural. Get rid of that, like just, just remove it from your life. I really wanna get into this uh, concept of emptiness. This whole video is about this concept. As a man, you need to become empty, like rid yourself of all body fat, empty yourself of that. You know, that's why we have a huge thing about fasting and about being lean and, and, and like a lean fighting machine. Rid yourself of all the external stimulation. Rid yourself of all that external input that is trying to distract you and give you noise in your life and keeping you away from masculinity. Get rid of that shit and become empty. You know, my best friend Luke, he posted this. Uh, Luke lives in Australia. He's also my spiritual mentor. He posted this in the testosterone transformation group that we have you know, with over 2,000 members now. And he said this, like, that's what kind of really rung a, rung a bell in my head. As men, we need to be empty. Emptiness. Uh, another post I just made on Instagram, it, it was about this guy said that for men, it's just about brain, muscles, and cock. That's all you should worry about. Get rid of everything else. Get rid of all your fat. Get rid of all the bullshit and be very, very minimalistic. Be very stoic. All right? Now, if you want to increase your testosterone levels, you want to get that drive, that libido back, the gains, you want to get that passion for life, you want to get that, that energy, that confidence, that inner confidence that we all want as men, then, and you want to do it naturally with zero side effects, then go check out Afro D. I have all the links in the description below. You can look at the ingredients, you can look at the testimonials, whatever you need, it is all there in the description below. And, and especially when it comes to boosting blood flow into the genital region. The schizandra berry is one of the main ingredients in Afro D. It activates the, the specific pathway, the cyclic GMP pathway, the nitric oxide pathway that relaxes smooth muscle and, and maintains that erection, even causes that erection. So that pathway is literally evoked by Afro D. And so I, I can't say enough about it, go read it and then you'll learn more from the description below. And if you want all the free books, free eBooks out there, you can start boosting testosterone right away. Go download them, they're all free. Click the link in the description below. That's it for me in this video, man. Go get that boner. Like, if you have ED, like this is, out of everything in life, okay, you can think of you know, your career, your, I don't know, money you wanna make, or your fucking relationship with your parents, or. I don't know, all this bullshit, your car or your jacket, your Armani jacket that you want to buy, throw all that shit away, man. Like, just get rid of it. I'm telling you right now as a brother, get rid of all that stuff. Focus on you. Focus on the inside, the man inside, the caveman. Just, dude, when you have that raging rock hard boner and you're pounding her doggy style, you know, and you're seeing her blonde hair pouring out and sometimes you grab it and you just fucking nail her hard. Dude, that Armani, that fucking getting likes on Facebook, none of that means shit, man. Porn is not even in your reality anymore. All right, man, brother to brother. I'll see you next time.